Alrighty guys, today's video is going to be a more or less a video response to a question that Anthony83511 posted uh, and actually asked me and it was about <clears throat> more or less how the growth of my corals were doing with the Coral Life 4 bulb fixture that I have. It is the Lunar Aqualite, has 4 bulbs under there, two ten thousands, uh, two eighteen thousand Artenix, and then two lunar blue LED lights, and whether or not, uh, or more or less, what, what am I able to grow with this lighting setup, and currently in my tank, I have got two different types of Zoas, the ones on the right side are going to be peach Zoas, and the ones in the middle there, that's just a random assortment of Zoas, really not sure on the specific name, but there are uh, ones with the blue centers and orange rings, ones that are all green with like a blue ring, and then there's ones with the orange centers and blue rings. Um, so, if so anybody knows what exactly they're called, you can let me know in the comments, that'd be great. Uh, I also have got one of the green star polyps, a uh, colony of those guys growing up top there. We got a pink bird's nest coral back there in the corner with a little snail on the bottom. Uh, I got, really don't know what type of Xenia, but that's uh, a Xenia right there, and it's, uh, that was one of the specific ones he asked if he could, if I was able to grow my tank, and I definitely can. Everything from about there, the, all this stuff right here, so maybe six new polyps on it, that's all been new growth in about the past, maybe, month, and also, on the zoanthids that I got, focus it in here. But there's, I st it started off with nine, uh, nine polyps on it, and now I believe it is up to 20. There's lots of little ones that wrap all the way around the bottom. And then this guy, this purple Aiken right here, he actually, you can barely see it, but on the right side, there's actually a new, uh, a new polyp starting to kind of grow off, uh, the side there just a little bit. So it also has got new growth on it. And then down here... My tooth coral, I believe is what it's called. This guy I was kind of worried about for a while, but if you look real close there, uh, on the edge that is closest to the camera right now, there are actually two new little stalks starting to grow on it and everything, so it is also getting new growth. Uh, kind of slow on that guy, um, and definitely slow growth on the Aiken as well, but I have not. These are both corals that can be fed. I have not been feeding them anything at all. I've just been kind of letting them sit in there and use the uh, photo... Uh, synthetic bacteria that they have inside of them to give them the nutrients that they need so really everything's been growing good and really with this nano reef a 20 gallon system that I have the coral life fixture that I have more or less will allow me to grow any type of photosynthetic coral that I want uh, it breaks down to almost five watts per gallon on this setup there are four 24 watt bulbs for a total of 98 watts divided by 20 gives you 4.8 watts per gallon so that is more or less going to be perfect for anything you want, if not a little bit too much. So you might have to actually hide some corals in like the caves or something like that so they're not in direct light from the fixture above. It could cause them to get bleached or actually fade and lose their color. So make sure you're careful of that. But definitely recommend the fixture. It's, I mean, can't really say anything bad about it. Kind of like what I said in my review. If you haven't watched that, you can check it out already. Um, but... You know, it's it's a good fixture. I'm getting lots of good growth and everything. Everything seems to be happy in the tank. No problems. And the last thing that he asked about was coralline algae growth. And the best example I have on it is this rock right here. And that is all new growth. That rock had absolutely no coralline algae on it two months ago. And now it has that. This rock up here that the blue-legged hermit crab is on, that also has lots of green and purple on it. This rock right here... If you look between the two zoa frags, there's a little bit of coralline algae starting to come in, as well as a bunch on the rock back there. Uh, you can kind of see the purple coming through and everything. So, gotten some good coralline algae growth starting to come through and everything. And, you know, everything's really going pretty good. So, I guess if uh, I didn't get your question quite the way you wanted, Anthony, you know, let me know or respond in the comments. Or if any of you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, you know, let me know and I'll make sure to answer it in the comments or make uh, yet another video going over it. So thank you guys. Next time.